I want to take a minute to celebrate World Honeybee Day. Yeah, that is coming up tomorrow. Uh, Brissa, or David Walter, I and myself had a pretty uh, interesting assignment earlier on this week. We saw a taste of it, I think, back at what it was on Wednesday. That's when we caught up on a local bee farm, uh, learning about the importance of those honeybees and yeah, as a result, we had to get dressed up in those beekeeper suits. Yeah, from uh, the top to bottom, we were covered. For you, anyway. Yeah. I was kind of, you know, I was like a bee suit mullet there, you know, business up front, <laughs> party down below, I suppose, right? We caught up with a man named Frederick Dunn, and he knows everything there is to know about bees, and we did learn a lot when we spoke with him. We wanted to share what we learned with you. As we are joined this morning ahead of National Honeybee Day, with a master bee expert himself, Frederick Dunn. We are out in Wattsburg this morning on, what would you call it? It's like a bee sanctuary? Yes, this is an environmental bee sanctuary, definitely. Sanctuary for both diversity of the flora and the fauna, specifically honeybees, uh, so that we can maintain things that uh, provide them food and resources to stay healthy through the year. So ahead of National Bee Day, just talk about the importance of the bees and the role they play in our daily lives. Well, bees in general, there's thousands of species of bees worldwide, but we're specifically talking about honeybees, which are actually domestic bees. They're managed under the Department of Agriculture. A lot of people don't know that, but they're critical when it comes to our agriculture overall as uh, pollinators for primary crops like the almonds and other things that we've mentioned. All your fruits and vegetables have some species of bee attending to them. A lot of people don't know, for example, that tomatoes are not pollinated by honeybees. Interesting. But bumblebees can get in there, so it has to do with their physiology. But honeybees are, are responsible for our fruits and vegetables, definitely. Fred, we are suited up, obviously, in this area, surrounded by a lot of hives. Explain exactly where we are within yeah. your property here. So actually, this is within 100 feet of my house, and that's so that I have uh, easy access to the bees day and night. So whenever something's going on, I do cinematography and photography about the bees. I'm also a Getty photographer. Uh, so when something's going on or the air is perfectly still, like right now, I can run right out here and document what's going on either in the environment or the hives themselves. So we'll also take apart the hives and photograph micro macro of what's going on with the brood area, which is the nursery for the honeybees, which is of real interest to a lot of people. So. And Fred, we know that weather affects everybody. It affects the bees, too. It's cloudy, a little rainy today. Tell me what the bees are doing. Yeah, well, because it's cloudy, and we're actually at 62 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and uh, the bees then, they could fly as cool as 49 degrees Fahrenheit because we do that testing and observation right here as well. But uh, it's also wet, which means that the water has soaked the pollen. It's not available to the bees to harvest the way they normally would. Plus, a lot of rain dilutes the nectar that's in the flowers that are producing the nectar that the bees want. But they want a maximum sugar concentration. So with the rain and increased humidity and moisture, it's less valuable to the bees. So they conserve their energy by staying inside the hive and clustering together. Because 62 outside, they need 94 to 97 on the brood. So... It's more efficient for them to stay in the hives this time of uh, day when the weather's like this. You know, Frederick knows an awful lot about bees, and he imparted some of that knowledge to us. The guy could talk about bees all day. Yeah, we learned just how remarkable our honeybees are. So looking forward to tomorrow to celebrate National Honeybee Day. But